Hey guys, Dean here. Today we're going to be running through on Terraria, specifically on T-Mod Loader, how you can install and create a modded Terraria server. So this is how to create a modded T-Mod Loader server and run it with the different mods which you have installed. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do this. So the first step is none other than actually installing T-Mod Loader itself, right? And you can do this by going to the Steam store, typing in T-Mod Loader and finding the T-Mod Loader page and clicking install. Now I've already installed it, as you can see, so I already have the game running. As as you can see, I can run it straight away and play the game as I choose. The second step is to go to Steam Library and right click on the Tmod Loader folder and press Manage and press Browse Local Files. This will take you to the Tmod Loader directory where we can edit all of the files. Now, whilst we're in the folder, we want to run the specific server.bat file, right? And this is the same as with the normal Terraria, except the file name looks a little bit different and it says Terraria. We can also just jump into the main menu. Now, when we're running the server, we want to run the mods which we've subscribed to. So that would be on Workshop, Manage Mods, and we have all the mods we've downloaded here. So you can go on the Workshop and download which mods, first of all, that you want to be on the T-Mod load server, and that's why it will load in with. And we can press back, and you can also press Download Mods and Download Brand New Mods over here, specific ones which you want to run on the server. So now you've done this, you can go to Multiplayer, you can press Host and Play, and this is how you'll host a server normally, right? Through Steam. You could just go, you could press which world you want to host, and click on the world, and we have a dialogue here. Now this is the standard way to do it. So I'm going to show you this first method, which is the standard method, which is easy for people. This is self-explanatory. This is kind of like an idiot's guide. Most people know how to do this. So just go ahead and Steam Multiplayer enabled. You can turn that on and then that lets you enjoy luxury of inviting friends off your Steam list and just press start. If you turn Steam Multiplayer off, people will need to connect specifically via an IP address. You can also press enable the server console, which can be quite useful. And you press start. You just type in the password and it's as simple as that. And then we have a server basically being launched. This is the easiest method, guys, how to do it, okay? This is for people who don't want to mess around with opening ports. They want to use the Steam servers, which is just more convenient to have some simple servers to run Terraria with and just invite their friends off the Steam list. And now, as you can see, I'm on a Terraria server, right? And it says, welcome to vein mining. So we have the vein miner mod working. We have, as you can see, it says ore excavator. And we have our other mods working, although you can't really see them too much. We have a functional Terraria server, right? So let's just check out the other method. Let's go settings, save and exit, and now we don't have a server. So we would go into the server folder, right? To go into the Tmod Loader server folder, you would right click on Tmod Loader, press manage and browse local files, and it'll take you to this specific folder. Then we want to double click on start Tmod Loader server.bat, this file in here. You'll find a few different bat files. You want to open the server one, and it'll open a console dialog where we can mess around with a few options, okay? So first of all, we can press, do we want to use the Steam server? So this is basically doing the exact same thing what we just did in game but via a console window so it basically functions the same right but if you want to do it through the console and do it the uh, advanced method this is how to do it so we're just going to press no just for this specific situation because we used a steam server last time and it's going to use the local .NET service and it's going to load all of our mods okay so as you can see over here we have a few different options so you can see it's loaded the mod loader which is t mod loader it's loaded the auto reforge better boss health bar boss checklist town npcs list cheat sheet item magnets max stacks or excavator the randomizer mod recipe browser and shorter respawn time mods these are all the mods which I've subscribed to on the workshop for Tmod Loader. So it's basically start the server with every single one of our mods, right? So that's convenient. We have a few different options and you can type in the keys which correspond to that on the left-hand side. So we can press one over here. We can just press max place for the server, 16. We can leave the server port open press yes to automatically port forward and then you can set the password i'm just going to set one two three so now we have this and then after this you can type help for a list of commands which will show you the commands from before and we can edit all these things okay so we have the configuration of the server and the server is now started so let's just jump in and connect so if it's not on steam like we tried for this method you would join on ip so press multiplayer join via ip select your character and then you want to connect your server now what you would do is you would go on google you type in what's my ip on google You'd search for this and it'll tell you the IP and then you type that in and that's the IP you'd connect with, okay? I'm not going to show you my IP, of course, because I don't want to get DDoSed. You can also use this local IP, which also works because 
that's the local IP of your local area connection. So that also works to connect to a local server. But the IP it shows won't work for other players because they need your public IP. So as you can see now, we have a Terraria server and it's as simple as that. We've created a TMOD loader server. We have Vein Miner installed and we have our mods running on it. So that's the two different methods we can use to run a server with all of our custom plugins. This is exactly how to do it. Now let's jump back into the server console real quick and let's toggle a few options, okay? So for an example, on the left hand side, we have commands like playing that shows the list of players connected to your world as well as the world name and the local IP address. We have clear to clear the console window because that can be kind of annoying. And then we have kick. So you can type in kick and then the player name here and it will kick the player. You could also type in ban and then the player name to ban them. You can show the password, which is one, two, three, but you can also change the password to whatever you desire by typing in a new password. You can display the port with port. You can change the game time in game. You can change the MOTD. So you display it with MOTD and then you change it saying MOTD and then followed by a new message, which will rebind the MOTD. Then you can see the seed of the world. You can settle all the water. You can set it to dusk. You can set it to midnight and you can also display the mod list by typing in mod list. It's as simple as that to mess around with the console. So that's basically our console that we can mess around with and do commands in. But all of these commands basically perform in the exact same way if you type them inside the server. So the console window is what you're going to use as a server admin to mess around with the server. But for the most part, you're probably just going to be playing with friends and you won't need to kick or ban players unless you want to ruin your friendship. So this is how to configure and set up a TMOD loader server with all of the options. There's two different methods here. I'd recommend honestly just using the steam method because it's easier you don't need to mess around with port forwarding which is another thing which i forgot to mention it's actually a main key thing the option where it said automatically port forward you're going to want to do that because basically other people won't be able to connect to your server if you haven't port forwarded there's guides on google how to port forward if the automatic one didn't work for you it basically involves opening certain ports on your internet dashboard so other players can actually connect it's just basically opening up your internet local area connection to other people who want to play on your server recommend doing that the reason i can't feature that in this tutorial is it's different for every internet provider so there's probably also a guide on your internet provider on how to do that if you're not hosting a dedicated server off steam i'd recommend just using the steam api and the steam servers because you don't have to faff around and mess around with all of that unnecessary nonsense to open up a server and play with friends because the first method is literally plug and play. We start a Steam server, run it with our mods and play with friends. And then we can do anything we want. We can play like a 100 days with mods challenge. We can mess around, just play a world with some fun mods and just play with our friends. So I'd recommend using the Steam method if you're playing on the Steam version of the game. If you're playing on some other version of the game, which I don't really promote because I'm using the Steam version, then the second method might be useful to use for you. This has been how to make a modded server on TMOD Loader on modded Terraria. Make sure to like the video if it helps you and subscribe for more Terraria and Minecraft videos. See you next time.